The volunteers are the most important part of Hand in Hand. I initially got involved with Hand in Hand um, in my freshman year of high school, which was 10 years ago now. So I found out about Hand in Hand when I was a sophomore in high school, about six years ago, and we were matched with uh, Michael and Zachary. So when I was a freshman in high school in ninth grade, so I was paired with David when he was five, and he's now 10. So when I was 13, I got matched up with Hannah, and I went for four years straight. We would do um, puzzles, art projects, and I think it's so easy to click with Hannah more than any other friend. It's because you could literally tell her anything, and she won't judge you. Like, it's just, you laugh. It's like, you could be yourself. Over time, it just became, how could we not go to Hannah this week? It was the highlight of our week. You know, we were originally assigned to Michael. We end up spending almost every week with both Michael and Zachary, and sometimes their older siblings would also come hang out with us. Eventually, it sort of felt like we were just part of the family and part of the house. We were just there, and it's such an understanding and accepting environment to just, you know, be you, to find your inner kid. And when these volunteers go and bring that friendship, the tremendous effect it has on those children's lives is endless, is limitless. They're meaning the world to these children. But in the same time, the volunteers benefit so much from their visits. David is the sweetest kid you'll ever meet. He loves with his whole heart. He was nonverbal for a very long time until actually he was in hand in hand. At first it was just me chasing him laps around the house and eventually we started dancing and doing different things. As we got closer with David, we got closer with the family. When I play with David, the whole family will come over and my mom will hang out with Susan, my sister will hang out with Ava. The Stamers have been wonderful. It's just developed into a beautiful, lasting relationship that is our extended family now. It's a very special bond to be able to say that he's actually like my little brother. We celebrate holidays together. <laughs> we miss Hannah. I'm so proud of her and um, going to Boston University. She's She's just grown up to be such a beautiful young woman. Two years ago, I started college. I go to Boston University. And it was a hard transition for both David and I. I have tried to stay connected with David as much as possible. And when I'm home, I take him to the beach and I see him all the time. Keeps growing. The love keeps growing. Throughout my four years of high school, I visited Kobe every single week. And then in college, I went to Monmouth University. So I used to continue visiting Kobe and hanging out, uh, maybe a little less often because I was a pre-med student studying. But at least every other week, um, Kobe and I would hang out. So now I moved to New York and I go to school there. But we still keep in touch with Hannah regularly. Her mom will send us videos of her and pictures of her. Recently I came back and I took her to Dunkin' Donuts. We even surprised her on her birthday recently and it was so much fun. She had no idea we were coming and the smile on her face when we got there. And us, really, it was unforgettable. When they volunteer as teenagers, and they develop appreciation for who they are and how they could give back. It continues to affect them for years to come. I've definitely seen the impact that the program has had on me through college as well. Last year, I signed up to volunteer for a program called Evolve Coaching, which helps uh, college students with special needs have mentorship and understand how to do job interviews and I was definitely inspired to be a part of that program from Hand in Hand. Being introduced to Hand in Hand in like the world of special needs kids was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. This summer I'm going to be interning for an organization called Next for Autism, um, which works with all different things related to helping special needs kids outside of school. 
Hand in Hand affected me in the most amazing way. It taught me how to be a sensitive person, a better friend, a happier person. Something that I took from my Hand in Hand experience is to be appreciative for everything and that really the simple things in life matter. For many of these volunteers, they end up choosing their career path due to the inspiration of Hand in Hand. It made me realize that I love helping people um, and in turn, they enrich my life. And it made me want to go into a career of medicine where I get to help people day to day. Hand in Hand opened my eyes to the world of special needs children and volunteering and doing good um, for my community. And that has resulted in me wanting to do good in my life in general and in the future.